Alright, what is happening YouTube? Album 106, and this one's cool. This one's uh, something I think fits the bill of necessity on this list. And why is that? Well, can you see the shirt I'm wearing? It says Bonnaroo 2014 in Manchester, Tennessee. And, well, a couple summers ago, I uh, road tripped with my buddy Dusty, and we spent two weeks on the road, all centered around going to the Bonnaroo Festival. Uh, and Bonnaroo is uh, amazing. Uh, aside from Kanye West's very spastic and uh, unfulfilling set, the rest of it was amazing to say the least. The spirit of community and love and uh, I guess just sharing is very widespread there. Very laid back festival compared to some of the others I've been to. And um, really perfect vibe for someone like Jack White. And if you don't know what this is, this is one of the Third Man Records, I guess, special edition vault box sets. And if you don't know what that is, you can go on thirdmanrecords.com, sign up for the vault, and uh, every quarter for 60 bucks, they send you something special like this. And this is what got me to sign up, the Bonnaroo, Live from Bonnaroo Jack White uh, package. And I, you know, have to say that I, I was mostly drawn to buying this because I was there, but um, it's also a very career extensive listen to what Jack White has to offer. Everything from the Dead Weather and the Raconteurs to the White Stripes to his solo stuff was all on stage. And um, of course, um, I think it was uh, Icky, Icky Owens um, who passed away. Um, not shortly after that was sort of uh, on stage, which was kind of a, a nice treat, I guess. But, I mean, it, it's unfortunate. So what's in this box set? What, what do we got here? Well, um, it opens up, and I, I took everything out. I'm going to start at the back, work our way forward. And, and here is a USB that looks like the TV stream thing he did. The whole stage was lit up with this sort of set that was reminded of that. Um, and he put all of the tracks on this USB, which is really cool. I haven't opened it. I'm kind of just trying to keep it, you know, its, it's original integrity. Um, then we have this uh, DVD of the show, which is really cool. Um, I can only get it here. There's a, a like a sticker, like a world tour press pass type thing, triple A, uh, a patch of the screen, which man, I want to put on a coat, but I haven't been able to bring myself to do, uh, kind of like this as, as one piece, one cohesive piece. Um, but then it sort of jumps and you've got this uh, 12 by 12 hard stock um, art piece here, which sort of tells the story of what's in there. June 14th, 2014. Um, I like the, the three colors, you know, it's almost monochromatic, but, but you've got the blue with the black and white, so uh, it's not, uh, but it's nice, it sort of sums up sort of the, the vibe of that night. Um, and then inside this envelope you have, um, here it is, the, uh, yeah, the uh, loving memory of Isaiah Icky Owens, right there, uh, that was a, just a, something they added. Um, very unfortunate. Um, but there's also some other photos in here with the uh, Thurman being used. It's pretty cool. Of course, some fiddle. You can't play in Nashville without a fiddle, right? Um, the bass and guitars. There's Jack before he cut all his hair off. Of course, uh, some additional percussion assistance. And, and just really cool that they packaged all this together the way they did. Really kind of reminds me of that special trip I took. Um, and, of course, my favorite thing, vinyl records. So, let's look at them. We've got the white on white with the white vinyl here. And they include, you know, the hard stock as well as a traditional cover in their paper um, liner. So, it's nice. And, and I even, you know, they even go so far as the inside of this white uh, liner is blue. So, you've got this contrast. So, you can really sort of see you know, how much work goes into it. They didn't, they didn't speed through just to give us a release. And you've got blue with black inside, and it's, a, it's kind of a, a blue splatter vinyl. That's really neat. 
You see what's there. The special uh, Bonnaroo label with the Third Man Tower. And of course, lastly but not least, it's the black. And this one, uh, obviously you can't feel it through your screen, but unlike the other two, this one almost has like a, like a rubber coating to it. Um, I don't know uh, if that was specifically there or if it's from the ink they use to color this black. Um, and it's just a black vinyl. So you get a little bit of everything. You get the pure white, the pure black, and the white splatter. Um, ooh, I didn't like that stuff there. But from the vaults of Third Man, just a really kick-ass um, box set you can't get anywhere now unless you want to pay a lot of money for, and I was uh, feeling like bragging about it. Um, it's something that uh, I was quite fond of the show because my friend Dusty and I have only been to like one concert and I go to tons of concerts and he being the godfather of my children I thought it was special that we shared that trip and this set and this album is very special um, opens with Icky Thump which on my YouTube channel here I have a 20 minute like montage-esque video of that trip uh, with footage from all over the country in Kentucky and in Indiana um, parts of Bonnaroo and, and, and I use Icky Thump in part of that video and, and it, to me sort of the introduction or what a band or what an artist does when they take the stage of a show is always sort of uh, makes or breaks uh, and especially when you play a festival and you play a set as long as he did um, I think he played for at least two hours, if not longer. Uh, you got to come out hitting hard, and Icky Thump really does that. Um, ended with Seven Nation Army, the the I guess probably the one most popular Jack White uh, piece of music, but uh, a little bit of everything in here, um, and it's worth seeking out the audio for this. I believe it's on YouTube. I'm going to put a link below. Uh, if you're a fan of Jack White, definitely listen to this. If you're uh, a fan of just like kick butt rock and live music, this is a live album worth your time. It's uh, beyond the scope of many live albums that are overproduced or don't offer enough. This offers everything. It's a career-spanning, eclectic look at what the man himself has done. And, of course, here, this box set that I really just kind of wanted to get to show off on camera really sort of uh, embodies the spirit of what Jack White and his Third Man Records has to offer, which is not selling its audience, its people short. They do everything 150%, as does Jack when he's on stage. Uh, an amazing musician, uh, a talented guitarist, and, and just a kick-ass human being, if you ask me. So, of course, I had to do the Bonnaroo Live Box set. So, until next time, thank you for staying with me very, very much. Uh, I hope you like what I have to, to say sometimes. Do you have this box set? Do you want this box set? Do you have thoughts about this box set? Uh, let me know. Comment below or, you know, tweet me at Daily Vinyl AZ. Of course, you can find me on Facebook at Daily Vinyl Online and on Instagram at Daily underscore Vinyl. Uh, until next time, much love. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh -huh. uh, not too hard to do that. And we can stay connected. Uh, I'm going to leave. I'm just going to casually get out of here. All right. Goodbye.